Tommy Ricketts lied about his age, got in at 16 when he should have been 18, naughty boy, and served throughout the, uh, the early campaigns until uh, mid-1917 when the unit was advancing and encountered some German field guns, horse-drawn artillery pieces, in a uh, farm area. We're at the DeHunt farm, uh, which is just out near uh, Cotrai. The Newfoundlanders had come up from Ledgerham, which would have been over that way, uh, over the fields, past the Wolf Dam Beak, which is a small stream, but it was wide enough that it was difficult getting over under fire. But they got over that, came up to this line of uh, action. The Germans would have been over there in the fields and firing at them. There was a gun there that was holding up their progress and causing casualties. Uh, Captain Newman, uh, Sergeant Mad Matthew Brazel, and uh, Tommy Ricketts went out and were holding them down. Uh, they saw that uh, the Germans were trying to get their gun away. Tommy Ricketts ran back about 100 meters, picked up more ammunition, came up, and with their machine gun, uh, captured the Germans and the gun. And uh, this is where the action took. Now, what the spot is, I don't think anybody can tell now. The farm was still here, a uh, little changed since those days, uh, but this was where the action for Tommy Ricketts receiving the Victoria Cross. He was the youngest soldier in the British Army in the First World War to receive the Victoria Cross. My grandfather fought here in World War I. He was one of the lucky ones to make it back. I'm just walking probably the grounds he walked on. Crushing! They were young, as we are young. They served, giving freely of themselves. To them we pledge, amid the winds of time, to carry their torch and never forget. We will remember them. Dear friends, the place we stand here today is for many of our inhabitants a common place, which one passes every day. A place just like another one. But for everyone in the Newfoundland Regiment, this place has a historic meaning. To them, this is not a forgotten place. Here, their comrades fought a bloody battle, which founded the base of the future development of our community. Thanks to their fight, our freedom was conquered, winning back what had been lost. Although the events are almost a century behind us, it is important we stand still at what happened. Therefore, it is important we remember the heroic acts of the soldiers. They represent our deepest wish, a wish for peace, a wish for freedom. It is with very deep emotion that I speak to you today on behalf of the Royal Newfoundland Regiment. Some 18 months ago, this trip was an idea discussed during a luncheon. Since then, a lot of people have done a tremendous amount of work. A trip such as this for some 260 people, the regiment and our friends, doesn't just simply happen. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Praise
were marching through the town and there was just kids waving Newfoundland flags and it, it, what it felt like was a liberation parade like it would have been mm -hmm. 90 years ago and it was just, it was amazing. Uh, leden hebben in de Eerste Wereldoorlog uh, ja, een dorp als een ander. Maar uh, in, 14, in 1914 werden wij hier overspoeld door de Duitsers. De bezetting feitelijk begonnen. Op het einde van, uh, in, op het einde van september uh, 1918 hebben de allieerden een, uh, een strijd gedaan uh, vanuit Ieper. En zo hebben de, de geallieerden ook het uh, Newfoundland regiment leden hem helpen bevrijden. En dat was, als ik mij niet vergis, op 2 oktober. Dank uh, Thomas Rickert voor zijn houden. Voor zijn Voor zijn heroïsme. Voor zijn heroïsme, ja. When sun rays crown thy pine clad hills and summer spreads her hand when silver voices to thy rails we love the smiling land we love thee we love thee we love thee smiling land has loved our Their prayer.